Hola, I'm Jonathan Hernandez from Mexico, and I would like to share with you some key points about my candidacy for IFLA president-elect. IFLA has become an important part of my professional life and passion, along with my daily work at the Library and Information Research Institute at UNAM, a long-standing IFLA member. I have had the privilege to serve as a president of the Mexican Professional Library Association, and currently I'm chairing the International Relations Section of ANBAC. My experience in IFLA involves many relevant and challenging positions. I have been honored to serve on the IFLA governing board for two terms. I was actively involved in the governance review and other relevant tasks and representation for IFLA. I have also served as a member of the FACE Advisory Committee for two terms. During this journey, I was privileged to be part of the IFLA International Leadership Program where I had the opportunity to learn from experienced and skilled mentors and work with colleagues worldwide. My advocacy experience involves active participation in several meetings and forums with an audience of high-level politicians, experts, and government officials at the United Nations, UNESCO, and many local and regional forums. I have also collaborated with Creative Commons, Wikimedia, and many other relevant stakeholders advocating for a modern and complete set of copyright exceptions and limitation for libraries. These experiences gave me a great understanding of the demands, potential, and current challenges facing our Federation. As most of you know, IFLA is on the brink of becoming a century-old organization. This means we need to evaluate where we want to go and how we will get there in the following years. That's why one of my priorities will be to develop a strategic plan to engage with members, volunteers, and stakeholders, fostering the use of technology, taking advantage of social networking, and when it's possible, face-to-face -face encounters, with a focus on promoting local connection and sustainable practices within our federations. This, of course, involves an effective communication plan working together with the governing board and the secretary general. Positive ambassadorship creates a culture that attracts new talent. So to promote IFLA's work and shape a positive public opinion about libraries, fostering greater representation globally, but especially in underrepresented regions is essential. And this is linked to one of my goals, to bring new and especially young librarians into the Federation to become library leaders globally and in the region. Finally, I want to acknowledge the outstanding contribution of members, volunteers, the IFLA team at The Hague, and the enthusiastic people that have supported IFLA for many years. They have built a strong and committed Federation. I'm asking for your votes for this leadership position with the commitment to leading with integrity, dedication, transparency, and passion for IFLA. Thank you.